Oh yeah, it's time to walk the dog. Aristocrats share the same cultural heritage, but the knights had enough sense to do away with all the superfluous detail. Okay. Talk to Goro. I'm on my way, buddy. We're going to the dog park. Lady Yai. I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. Are you selling him dog shampoo? A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender loving care. I know you have a tail. You're just hiding it from us somehow. Uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Do his ears twitch? I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. This might be saying more about you than it does about him. How do you know? <clears throat> You've been caught. Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? Now you're not even trying to hide it. W wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? In fact... Why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. When is your banner? How do I get out of this? No, don't make me intervene. I want to join in. It's you! Oh, thank goodness. Please save me. Oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? Your favorite little one? Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? I mean, yeah, but what? Oh, yes, please. Hey! Not you too! Look, I'm sorry. I couldn't help it, okay? Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tale is? Pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have We're completed busy. the matter you instructed us about previously. Now is not the time. Alright, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. Guess I have no choice. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Almost definitely. That's what she does. I hadn't counted on running into her. <sighs> I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. Not bad, huh? Something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but <laughs> I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I would be careful. She's 2013 in dog years. Why don't I help you? Maybe we get to see her again. Really? That would be great! Let's go. As soon as I've worked through this, let's go take on Yaimiko again! Yes, please. First things first, though. Do you have any ideas on where to begin? Um... Theoretical study. Good plan! Uh, if you say so. Start by studying some theory, address the fear at its root, and then I'll have nothing to be afraid of. Let's go back to Watatsumi Island and ask around there. Okay, fine. Uh, not fine. Dodge the, dodge the, dodge the, cool it, cool it, cool it, dodge the... Okay, we've arrived. Okay, Goro, where are you? I feel more at ease on Watatsumi Island. Can I touch your ears? Many of my army comrades are older than me, and I'm sure that handling this kind of situation must be second nature to them by now. So I thought we could go ask them for advice, but I can't just go to them and say, Hey, I'm no good at this. So instead, I'm going to go with a cover story. That I'm asking for a friend. Asking for a friend? I understand. I often ask for a friend. I see. So... You're saying that your, <laughs> uh, your friend, sorry, is having some trouble with a certain someone who has an intense personality. He sees right through you. The easiest way to deal with people like that is just go through the motions. Okay. Uh, well, you see, General Goro, I, <laughs> General Goro's friend, I mean, always listens intently when other people are talking and takes them very seriously. Look, you could at least pretend. The other side of the coin is that it makes General Goro's friend very susceptible to falling for the other party's verbal traps and being led by the nose. Now, if something like that is bothering you, your best bet is simply to not give the other party your full, undivided attention. Now, whether it'll actually work in this case is a different question. If it doesn't work, just wag your tail. Well, on my friend's behalf, thank you for your advice. <laughs> we wanted to ask you about something. So do I. Do it wag? Do it bark? I see. So General Goro's friend wants to overcome his weakness, right? You too, huh? My advice would be to hide what you are really thinking. That would be hard with a tail like his. So what you're saying is, 
My friend just needs to keep his cool, and she won't have the chance to take advantage of him. Exactly. I'm sure with your approach, that uh, friend of mine will be able to <laughs> overcome his weakness. <laughs> Please try and be subtle. Then I wish General Goro's friend a great victory. You too. I, I suddenly remembered. Her Excellency updated her general operational directives recently. Let's go take a look. Just to be thorough. Her Excellency handed me the general operational directives in three parts, and I think this is where I placed them. Whoa, whoa. Heal boy. Deployment and mobilization, logistics, conflict resolution, dealing with outlander merchants. Social anxiety. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, got it! How to avoid awkward social situations. Perfect. Get me a copy. Socializing is as important as a decisive battle. Know yourself and your enemy to succeed. We need specific knowledge of Yaimiko's individual weaknesses to achieve ultimate victory. Wait, it's just a conversation. I don't need the individual weaknesses of my waiter when I tell them to enjoy their meal. Visit the publishing house. Yai Publishing House. Makes sense. Let's go and investigate. Ugh. Free dots. Cool. Free. Ah, greetings. <laughs> Here to buy some books? We just got a new batch of light novels in. Oh, these ones are all the rage at the moment. Come on then, give me the codes. So, you have close dealings with Guji Yai. What sort of person is she? You're not even hiding it. For starters, uh, she's a very busy person. Whenever she visits the Yai Publishing House, she never stays for long. Uh, so, actually, we don't know a whole lot about her. Ah. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. Is there anything more you can tell me about Guji Yai? Uh, no, that's all. Brilliant. Actually, you said that this batch of light novels was hand-picked by her, right? If you're interested, I recommend this book. I've been to other worlds, but I've never tasted defeat. No way. You have long titled Isekai too, huh? <sighs> it's time to put these theories to the test. Let's go to Yaimiko's lair, the Grand Narukami Shrine. The hardest battle in the game, a real-life conversation. So this is the Grand Narukami Shrine. It's the first time I've been to this place. Why are you in a battle stance? I'm sure it's not that bad. Hello there. You look like you have something weighing on your mind. Would you like to draw a fortune slip? Yes, please. I'm not in the habit of it, but uh, since the opportunity's come up, I'd like to give it a try. Oh, I have a decision to make, huh? Uh, this one. Let's see what we've drawn. Great fortune! Really? All right, so we have luck on our side. Are you gonna tell me what it says? We can definitely show her who's boss today. Let's go. But you didn't tell me what it, fine. Let's go get verbally demolished. Any second now, we'll be face to face with her. <laughs> the hardest boss battle. Oh, you arrived a little later <laughs> than expected. Did you run into some trouble along the way? You saw us coming as expected. So what if you knew we were coming? This time, we won't get caught off guard. We're here to... You've lost. <laughs> Slow down. No need to rush. Let me guess. In the past, I used to have many believers coming to see me at the shrine every day. And most of them came for the same reason. Especially those who came in pairs. Nine times out of ten, they were here seeking to know their future fate. Hoping that it would be a lifetime together. Hold on, wait a minute. If you're interested, I'd be quite happy to do a reading for you two. <laughs> Look, Gor already has a ship, and I've seen way too much out of it. Against my will. T together For a lifetime? <laughs> you're not even denying it. You can just leave all your fur grooming to your little friend here. Imagine him holding your tail in one hand, combing it gently with the other. Wait, hold on, that's a bit too in-depth. Uh-oh, not good. My mind is already full of mental images. Huh? What images? You might be able to remain stony-faced if you really try, but with your tail <laughs> swishing behind you, <laughs> it tells everything. I thought so. Most people only pay attention to your tail, but those soft, pointy ears are really just as fascinating. Yeah, you understand. There's only one method left. A cunning strategy that no one saw coming. Wait, what are you about to do? I think the real reason you know me so well is that you're just like me! Yes, that's what I've been thinking. Just like me, you hug your tail when you go to sleep, and 
Just like me, you daydream about someone else grooming your tail hey, for you. Hey, wait a minute. You decided to admit your feelings in an effort to bring me down with you. I suppose this is a step forward for you. But I'm afraid I don't have a tail at all. Where are you hiding it, huh? No! Uh, <sighs> no, even his ears are down. Fighting on is futile. Better to conserve resources for the next confrontation. We're out of here! Tactical retreat. When I get back, I'm going to train harder than I've ever trained before. I won't lose to her again! Yeah. Bye bye now. Come again soon. <laughs> that was a complete and utter loss.